get some breakfast and I'll come snuggle your babies, okay? There's two little ones. Hello and good morning, beautiful. Look at this one's eyes. Here, honey, excuse me. They are such a pretty color. All right, let's see. There's two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Everybody's accounted for. Hello and good morning. <laughs> Good morning, little ones. Hello. That one's over there munching on something. Nobody wants to play on this one little piece of wood. Oh, you guys are just too adorable. All right, we need to go up and check on the dogs and, and the male goats, see how they're doing. They spent the night up in the, in the field, up in the electric netting, so I gotta make sure they're doing good. I can kind of see them from here. Not sure if you can on the camera, but they're up there on the hill. Maple's looking down on me. <laughs> Hi, Blue, good morning. This is his favorite place to sleep, is in this planter. Right by the front door. Hi. Good morning. You handsome cutie. All right, so we are gonna take some hay up to the goats, just because it is pretty much just pure grass up right, right now, and goats don't thrive well on pure grass. So we're gonna supplement them with some hay, and then this afternoon we'll go back up and see if they need to be moved. There's also no water turned on up here yet, so drag a hose up or carry a bucket. Hello, I see you already got a hole dug. All right, give them some dog food. Give the goat some hay. We're also going to take these collars off. And take them in, put them on the charger, and see what percentage they're at. Because they were out all night. Let me see if you go. Thank you. Got it? Got it. Hi, girls. Good morning. Hi. Oh, you, you want like it back on? Look, she's like, that's my collar. <laughs> what are you doing? <laughs> these collars have been great. Oh, look. You can tell they've been digging all night. Look at them. Yeah, that's yeah, Look okay. at this hole. We're meant for that. First night up, big old hole. Granted, that was a hole that they were working on last year. It was, so they had they to finish it. They just got back to work. <laughs> Everybody look good? I think so. So our goal is to let these dogs run all night, and then in the, in the morning, charge our collars, let them rest with the goats inside the electric netting and then repeat. I think starting out though, we're gonna let them run all day and put them with the goats at night, just cause I don't 100% sure trust that them yet. Right. <laughs> yeah, exactly. And Maple likes to test things. Yes, she does. She's ornery. And I didn't need the hose cause the water was already full. Hey, I don't have a treat for you right now. What are we doing, ladies? You crazy goose. Every time I come out here, they think I have something for them. <laughs> you ladies sure are spoiled. Came out to get your eggs, though. Lately, we've been trying to put the geese in their separate area because Rose has decided to become a egg eater and we forgot to get the eggs this morning. We also did not get Rose put into the other pen this morning and so I wanted to show you guys. This is what she's been doing, just reaching her head up here and munching on eggs. So if anybody knows of a way to get a goose to quit eating chicken eggs, I'd really like to know because she is becoming a handful. She might have to become a Christmas goose. It is so cold today. It's such a big difference in weather, you guys. Yesterday it was 75 degrees. Today it is about 42 and it's almost snowing. It's like ice flakes landing on my jacket. 
So we were expecting a little bit of rain today. Uh, the other day when we added goats in, we didn't put their little house in because they're under some trees. But we're going to go up there today and we're going to get their house added in and we're going to move these uh, dogs a little bit closer underneath the trees. And then as it warms up this afternoon, we're going to get these dogs out and kind of let them run free for a half hour, hour, see how they do. Just test them without them uh, being on the leash. And uh, see if we can trust them because uh, it's getting real close that we're going to let them run free. So pretty exciting. Hi dogs. Hello. Your head's all dirty. You been digging in the dirt again? Mm-hmm. <laughs> Okay, all done. They're moved. We'll have one of the kids bring them up some dog food. And then this afternoon, hopefully we can come up if the weather's not too bad and spend some time outside with them and let them run free, like I was saying. All right, we got the collars. Let's go put them on. Oh, well, April's collar's on. Look how excited she is. Yeah, we're not gonna run all day well, though. It's loosened up and so it's messed up. Oh, so you gotta adjust it? Oh, it loosened way up. Yeah. It should be on the last second to last notch. Yeah. I pulled it. Yeah, my that's fault. All right. Okay, come here, Figs. I'm sorry. I'm prepared oh. now. Come here, honey. I'm a little nervous because we haven't had them completely off leashes and everything yet. So, no, Arctic. Come on, go. Go, Maple. Come on, Maples. It's okay. The fun's ain't on anymore. I know, but Arctic's going to try and maple. go. Maples. Come on, Maples. Come on, Go. <laughs> go. Go ahead. Go ahead. <laughs> Good job. Good girls. Good girls. <laughs> now come back. Well, let's see how this goes. Well, right now they're roaming. They're down by the chickens. I was kind of hoping they wouldn't run down there right away. Because uh, we don't have a zone set up around the chickens, so I don't really care for that. But it looks, it looks like they ran all the way down to where they we had them. So we'll see how if they stay put. Now granted, they're going to be overly excited because they haven't been out yet. So they're going to run around like crazy until they get a little used to it. They got to smell everything. But, yeah, they got to smell everything, so... But I want to keep them out of the chicken coop, so I might actually have to edit it. To keep them out because well, we don't want them in there too, but we so just want them to run around and kind of get used to it first yeah and we'll make adjustments because yeah, i want to close that chicken coop door and i want them to go into where the goats are and have that be the chicken area. maddie get her out of there hey maddie make sure she's not in there so we're just kind of watching them right now they are back up on the hill next to the goats just kind of watching the goats from the outside of the fence now maple has gotten corrected because uh, she's not paying attention to the tones. But Fig has been paying attention to the tones. It looks like they're going to the top of the property, so I'm really hoping that everything works and they come back. So yeah, I have turned on the static uh, correction for Maple and Fig, just because Maple doesn't pay attention to the beeps. And they went way up there, and I wasn't sure if they are going to get out, and then I heard Maple yip, and here they come. So it works, and it works great. Now you guys, these are great Pyrenees. Probably some of the hardest dogs to train to get to stay in within a perimeter without fencing uh, because they have a mind of their own. They do what they want, when they want, and it doesn't really matter what you tell them, they're gonna keep doing it. So having these collars is a blessing, uh, especially someone like us, small scale farmers, homesteaders, can't afford fencing our entire property. This just makes sense and it works out really well. All right, guys, so they've been out for like 15, 20 minutes here. And look, Big's right there. And look at Maple, not leaving Elizabeth's side. Best thing here me. starting starts in the greenhouse. Although also, look at our beautiful look tomatoes. At our beautiful tomatoes. And look at these beautiful peppers, actually. Best tomatoes and peppers that we have personally ever grown, grown or started. Now, we don't know how they're gonna turn out in the long run. We've had really good tomato plants, but our starts aren't always We the best. raise animals. 
We are not gardeners. Yes. We are <laughs> we livestock prefer, farmers. We are much prefer to raise animals. <laughs> yes. We are chaos gardeners. Throw out the seeds and just hope they grow. This year we did put a little bit more work into it though because I did get our grow lights Well, out. we've put more and more food every year away. Yes. And that's just our goal is to continuously put more and more away. Well, the nice thing is we're still eating off of last year's food. Yeah, we still have tomatoes. Mm -hmm. I'd like to make more salsa because this year we didn't make enough salsa last year. Yeah, in but a time. I, but we still have t tons of tomato sauce. And it should last us where, until these ones are done. And in a time where groceries are super expensive, the more I'm food so we happy away, that we decided to hit it even harder this year. Yeah, I want to try my hand at fermenting some stuff too. Yep. So I want to do more beets and more radishes. And this year we're doing carrots. You know what I want? Have... Anybody ever have a hand in a freeze drying? I would love a freeze dryer. Someday we'll get a freeze dryer. Right now they're too expensive. Yes, though, they're way too expensive. It's going to be a long time for that. Someday it'd be really nice to get one. Anyways, Maple, are you just going to hang out in here? She just, she loves me. I don't know where Fig went. She might be in the chicken coop. I better go check. The chickens don't want you in there. You stay out of there. They don't want you in there. So with the dogs, the goal for today is just let them run for a little while. And then we'll put them back in the electric netting with the goats. And then each day we'll let them out a little bit longer. And then at some point, um, rather than letting them out during the day, because these collars will last about 12 hours that I feel comfortable with them being charged before you got to take them off and recharge them. So we'd like to get to the point where we have them in during the day where they're resting, they're sleeping, whatever, they're drinking water, they're eating, and uh, just kind of hanging out with the goats inside when there's not a lot of predator pressure during the day. And then in the evening, come out, put the collar on, let them out, let them do their thing around the property all night. That's the ultimate goal.